Authorities in the U.S. are releasing a more detailed account of what happened during the massacre at a Florida nightclub, a timeline and partial transcript of contacts between the shooter and police paint a chilling picture of the worst mass shooting in modern U.S. history. CCTV's Jim Spillman has the details. Mike, as you mentioned, these are only partial transcripts, but they give us a sense of how police interacted with the shooter. As police swarmed the club, Omar Mateen holed up in a bathroom with hostages and called the emergency services number. FBI crisis negotiators then contacted him three times by phone, speaking with Mateen for a total of about 28 minutes. In these calls, Mateen pledged his allegiance to the Islamic State and its leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. The killer of 49 and the shooter of 53 others identified himself as an Islamic soldier who pledged allegiance to a terrorist organization which was bent on killing Americans. He does not re represent the religion of Islam, but a perverted view, which based on what we know today was inspired by extremist killers. We currently have no evidence that he was directed by a foreign terrorist group, but was radicalized domestically. Mateen also threatened wider scale attacks, telling the negotiators, quote, there's some vehicle outside that has some bombs, just to let you know, you people are going to get it, and I'm going to ignite it if they try to do anything stupid. He also said, quote, in the next few days, you're going to see more of this type of action going on. Mateen told the FBI he was carrying out his attack to stop the U.S. from bombing Syria and Iraq.